Hey everyone, have you heard of Svelte? It's a new approach of building web applications. So instead of relying on the browser for doing the bulk of the work, like traditional frameworks like Vue or React, Svelte adds a compilation step before building the application. In any case, in our developer portal, I have an article for how to add a map in Svelte, and I wanted to try it out. They're using code sandbox for the demo. Okay, let's take a look. And here we are in the developer portal reading the article. It's about adding a small map, as I mentioned, in a Svelte application. And as you can see, there is a line here how to add it in a code sandbox where they have the code. Okay, we are back here into the code in code sandbox. And we are going to get application. You can see we have the main section here. We have some styling. Oh, there is a code here to show the root and on mount parameter. I have changed the API key from the original code to ours, so we don't want to use someone else API key, of course. And I can see that import the web SDK from TomTom, and we have, of course, imported the on mount function from Svelte. Okay, so it seems to be running fine. I just think we can do something better. Okay, let's navigate to the city of Nairobi. Uh, I can see some traffic here traffic incidents okay this map is quite small to see let's change that i can see that the style added the height but this is the for the class and this does will not work in the day for the map sdk let's add our own style here with to be 100 percent of the virtual width and the height let's say 80 percent of the virtual height you see the map updated quite great and much better more navigable i really don't want to start typing numbers here to get positions how about if we just click on the map let's react to the click listener on the map and we just add start location so let's do some changes we have here where do we start with the routing latitude and longitude and the destination latitude and longitude i think we could do better let's start then here also would have longitude value and a latitude value now this may be actually we could literally do nothing let destination we don't use the start we don't use a destination and we got this gonna be objects representing a position a location in the map how about that At the center we go we, we will come back later when we get the root layer, we have to parse coordinates. I can see that we are putting an array, but I also know that we can add the coordinate with values. That means parse flow. From start, give me the lat. And from start, give me the longitude. The same with this one. From destination, give me the lat. From destination, give me the longitude. We want to center on this, on the start. Since we are going to do a click listener, we don't need to ask for a start location at all. Actually, let's remove this as well. And for the destination, we are also not going to ask for the destination as well. We're going to click on the map. So also now we only have a map with a form at the bottom that does the click to see the route between the two locations and uh, a zoom level. Sure. Let's leave it there. You know what? How about if we move these two on top of the map? Let's move it to the top of the map. I think it will look better. Sorry about that. Let's put it here. Are you sure this is a zoom level? Let's say this is zoom level. And we have the map options. Very good. Now we're going to click. Every time we click, like for example, we click here, we will save that location as the start and the next click will be the destination. And when we finish those two, we click the, see the route and we will see. Inside the on mount, we created the reference for the map, and that's good. Okay, so we are going to add a click listener inside the map. Map on click function, and usually that's function receive an event, the event click. And what we want, if we don't have set the start location yet, then we're gonna set it there. Start is the event, and I believe it's called long lat. 
otherwise if not if the destination then we will have destination equal the event long last if we already have set the destination then absolutely do nothing just ignore the event excellent let's see if it is work Oh, one way to actually make it really nice is to let's create a marker whenever we click on the map. How about that? We can create a new one called PT marker and you set the long and lat position, which will be the start. And once you create the marker, let's add it to the map. We can do exactly the same with destination. Let's see how it goes. So we are here and thank you to Code Sandbox, the reload is automatic. Crowded Nairobi, cars, traffic. So if I click here, ah, I have a problem because set long and lat is not set because it's the other way around. I think I have the lat should be uppercase because it's a function. Save this and let's try again. Oh, well, I'm in Nigeria now, it's called Abuja. Also a little bit of traffic, let's click here and I see nothing, there is no marker. Let's go to the documentation because I believe that we are missing style, the CSS file that we need from the SDK in order to display the marker. We're gonna find that link. And with the link ready, we copy it, paste it here at the top of the file and it seems to be working, great. So we were missing style sheet for the SDK because we imported the SDK itself that make the map display, but for markers, we need to actually have the markers options and custom up UIs, etc. Kenya, Nairobi, Nairobi. So we have two locations. Let's see. One location right here and one location right here. And then we have two locations ready. And if I click again, it does nothing. Expected. So what I did is to start now that we have the two locations let's see show root layer what it does let's click on it according to the article it will do something why zoom out so far where is the root so should uh, show root layer what it does let's uh, let's review it does line oh it's a single line the line is but the blue should be red with this two okay you add a layer i don't see anything you're supposed to be get at the center from the lat long from the start and the, oh I see the song. So if go to map 15, see the root. Now I have the right. And as you can see, the line that it added is in the middle of the ocean, probably. And that is possibly because we have inverted the values long and lat. This is long. It says lat longitude latitude. I will reload it. Let's see. Click here, click there, see the root. What just happened? Okay, the line is now created, but the center, what is setting the center? Long lat. Last time. Let's check it again. Any any position. One click here, one click there, and see the root. There it is. Assuming some five. Yes, destination. But this is way too simple, and this is not what we really. It's not quite useful there yet, because if you have an origin and a destination, we want to see a root. Let's create a root and display the root in this application. Nothing better than go to the developer portal and the documentation. We'll see that in order to add services, which is where the libraries are, we have to import this. Well, on home web SDK services. Let me copy that and if you can add a dependency here, it was found. Thank you, Code Sandbox. I will add the dependency. Of course, after we added it, we have to import. And the only thing for now that we need is calculate root from that place. Okay, when we are the calculate root, we can ask for the root when the button is clicked is show root layer and the first thing that we have to do in show root layer is to actually calculate the root and let's check the documentation quickly what it does services calculate the root you see that you need it was parameter options and you can pass the api key and locations for example like this very simple let's go back to our code so calculate the root the first thing is the key, you have it here, 
and the other one is the locations. The location is an array, and in this case, it's an array that contains start and the destination. When this is done, we have a response. Let's print the response. Let's see what it does. I'm going to open the console a little bit clear. So, go to Freetown. Go start and for destination and see the root. And we have a problem. It says web SDK services calculate root is not a function. Did not find, and I believe it's because it is called services. The module name is called services, right? We have a root. I think the easiest way response to give JSON, and since we have the map layer here, I'm gonna add this all map layer set room everything I'm gonna move it outside the new method function called draw root I'm gonna pass the JSON file no the sorry the gear JSON as geo JSON let's see Impala Here, see the root. We have a error. And of course, we don't see any root being drawn because we haven't called the function yet. So after we get the response, we go draw root. So let's see from here to here, see the root. Oh, now we have a root. It's red. Actually, I like blue. A little bit of blue color. Let's go to Senegal. A car. Let's go from here to here. Root. Oh, I can see that. Now we have a root. And that's how we create and display a root between two points. I hope that you like this example. I will leave the code in a repository available in the description. I think that went well. I'm still getting along with Svelte a little bit. Let us know in the comments if you want more complex use cases. And as usual, thank you for watching and happy mapping.